How y'all doing today? I thought I'd make this little video uh, real quick about my everyday carry lately. As far as emergency fire, I've been carrying this little, it's called a Uncle Mike Psychic, I guess, on my belt lately. Let's see what I got in there. Nothing fancy. A little outdoor tins in there. It's a little round tin here. This one here is mainly my, uh, I don't know, medication type stuff and uh, a few other things in there, some chips in there, teeth in there, little micro chips and stuff. I've been changing this outdoor tin up lately, trying different stuff out. Here's what I'm doing right now though. Turn that one out there, so. Uh, now I've been using, you know, of course, this piece of fat wood in here. This stuff right here has been pretty decent. I've used this maybe a couple of times on the wood, checking it out. See what it would do. It's one of those some campfire stuff started, you know, if you buy in stores anywhere. I take it, kind of fluff it up though. And I carry a fair rod, you can see my knife every day with me, but I'm trying to get a fire started pretty quick. And I pitch sometimes you want to. That's the way I go about it right here. You know, I did some of the day right there. Got a fire started in no time. I flipped that stuff up like that, and uh, I was doing these striking them with matches. I was striking them with my, uh, with my knife. The print on it. That's what you get some time to rush like me. Anyway, I've been using this stuff lately here. You know, we're playing with it, you know. Playing with the old struck in with match. That doesn't always struck anywhere. It causes up garbage these days. You have to remember that. Whatever they did to them over the years, make them all safe or whatever. Anyway, so I get that going, what's kind of just throw a piece of fat one on there? I always got mashed kindling too, you know. But that gives you meant to, you know, get your fire going, whatever. Grab some wood, something. You know, you should always have your fire building material ready first, anyway. The little things, uh, they work pretty decent. I'm not going to name what you know what they are. They're whatever you can buy in stores and online. You start fires with. Should have on you. I got a fire kit. I also have my knife on me, you know. I mean, beat this knife up since they came out four or five years ago, whatever it was. Been pretty good to me. I'm pretty much carrying this in the woods every day or wherever I go. I'm carrying that, uh. I try to keep my hatch a lot. I don't always. But I carry these two. Like I said, it's on Uncle Mike's pouch. I'll start carrying mine on the back. Back side of my belt, mainly. Just a little video on. Maybe some. Different ideas on. Having some backup fire start material on you. Because right here in Minnesota, it's about to get really nasty, you know. We already had snow twice. And it was light snow, stay on the ground for a day or so, and that was it. And, uh, come about November, that's the end of it for us. We're going to have snow on the ground till, I don't know, end of next year, at least. That's from November until, what was it, April or May last year, we had snow on the ground. I mean, our lake down here is still frozen over in, uh, April last year. Anyway, that's what I got for today. I'll let y'all go, everybody. Appreciate y'all watching.